All right. This week's book I completed is 2030 by Mauro. I'm not going to try the last name. 2030, how today's biggest trends will collide and reshape the future of everything. How do I want to rate the book? Uh, great book. Probably need to read it one time. It's a boring read for most people. I like economics. I like future trend books. I get multiple different perspectives from people and try to find the consistency between them all so you can kind of figure out what the truth is. I'm not going to judge it on whether I agree or disagree with some of his trend forecasts in this book because I disagree with most of them. I think he probably is a little bit early. I don't think it's another decade. I think it's probably two decades for a lot of his predictions. But uh, obesity will certainly have increased by 2030. I agree with that. That's one I remember. I, I wrote down a bunch of different things that he uh, that he predicts in this book just so I can do some planning for myself and my business. But um, in terms of an unbiased opinion on how it was written, I mean, it's great. He's a great writer. Um, would I read it again? No, because these kind of books I, I take notes on. I get the message from the book and then I'm done with it. I mean, I kind of won't go back to it because I got the, the message here and the notes here. So probably going to be selling this book. Um, about 240 pages, an hour a day, you get through it in about six days. Um, yeah, I recommend it. It's an okay one read. Maybe get the ebook version or something. That way you don't have to resell the book. But um, I won't be keeping it. But I agree with the, most of the stuff. I'm excited to be getting getting through this one because I got bored with it the last two days. It was a tough one to get through. Uh, I don't know. Not really. I take that back. It was. I enjoyed it, but I'm weird. Most people. I'm thinking in terms of the masses. They probably wouldn't. They probably wouldn't like this because it's just so dry. Anyway. Uh, good book. I recommend if you're interested in these kind of books about trend forecasts or whatever, pick it up. He's got great opinions, and it's well. It's been well received. I mean, good lord, everybody's heard of it, and it's all in your bookstores. But I'm so ready. I'm getting on to uh, news of the world. It's going to be the movie that's coming out in December with Tom Hanks. I'm going to get this read before uh, the movie comes out because I like. Uh, I got I read Dune before the Dune movie's coming out next year. So, and I enjoyed Dune, so I'm excited about this news of the world because, uh, because I don't know, I like see, I like reading it, and then I like seeing it on the screen to see how they did in terms of accuracy or whatever, and if it matches what you picture in your mind when you read it. So, that's going to be a, a much better, more fun read than 2030. But 2030 was great, so I'd say read it once, get rid of it, write down everything you learned from it, and then go find another one and compare the trends and see what meshes in the middle and try to get the truth out of it. But Good book, boring, probably boring review video, but anyway, that was this week's book. See you next time.